one person, uh, Sandeep Prabhu will not be able to make it. I had asked him, but uh, his daughter got burnt because of something. So he said he will not be able to join. So, so let me see. Kon kon nahi aaya abhi, and then we'll go about it. Okay. Yeah. So these are for for the guests, right? Uh, these are some of the people. And honestly speaking, now, huh? Now Tarun, to where are you? You're supposed to be here, now. See, don't hesitate. I mean, whose name I said, please come. Don't be afraid. Honestly speaking, now in this forum, everybody that you see, now all of them are uh, very well established people. Yeah, we can keep some chair also. So they are very well established people. मेरे लिए थोड़ा मुश्किल था कि मैं किसे बुलाऊं और किसे नहीं बुलाऊं। शिवम प्रभु, do you want to come here? No, please come. Please come because uh, Sandeep Prabhu, I, I mean like please, please come. You you fill the form later, so I didn't invite you. Please come. आजा ही आजा ये सर मैंने क्या कुछ नहीं है उसमें आप उधर बैठ जाएं हाँ इसमें बैठ जाएंगे ऐसे कुछ कर लेते हैं राइट सो लेट मी स्टार्ट सो बेसिकली ना ये सारे लोग जो हैं एंड आप जो लोग सारे भी बैठे हैं यहाँ पे लॉट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ यू आर सो स्टेबलिश कि मेरे लिए बहुत मुश्किल था थोड़ा चूज करना सो डोंट फील बैड मैंने सबको इसलिए नहीं बुलाया क्योंकि जो लोग हैं ना उनके पास टाइम बहुत कम था आइडियली आई वॉन्टेड टू इन्वाइट एवरीबडी कि सभी लोगों से कुछ कुछ सुनते हैं अच्छा बट टाइम कम था तो मैंने पाँच छः लोग चूज किए थे क्योंकि हर कोई कुछ कुछ बोलेगा तो आधा घंटा हो जाएगा उनकी ट्रेन है एट फोर्टी फाइव पे ठीक है बट दे रियली द रीजन वाई दे केम सो फार इज बिकॉज दे वॉन्टेड टू हियर फ्रॉम द पीपल जो लोग हैं यहाँ पे कि उनको लाइफ में क्या मिलता है स्पिरिचुअलिटी से ठीक है सो हम शुरू करते हैं विदाउट मच ऑफ इट सो मुकेश प्रभु मुकेश प्रभु इज बेसिकली अ ग्रुप मैनेजर राइट आई मीन यू वॉन्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस योर प्लीज ऑन कर लीजिए इसमें किसी से आवाज आ रही है उसमें देख लीजिए मतलब हरि ओम सो माय नेम इज मुकेश आई वर्क फॉर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंड आई हैव बीन वर्किंग विद माइक्रोसॉफ्ट फॉर 18 इयर्स सो राइट नाउ आई एम अ ग्रुप इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजर ऑफ वन टीम एजोर कस्टमर एक्सपीरियंस एज अ ग्रुप इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजर इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट मींस दैट ही हैज मल्टीपल इंजीनियरिंग मैनेजर्स विद इन आई वर्किंग अंडर हिम राइट व्हिच मींस लाइक यू नो ही इज he has a group jisme bahut sare engineering managers hain aur uh, you know wo sare teams unke under kaam karte hain right so mukesh prabhu the question that i have for you is that how do you uh, basically what inspires you to be so serious in spirituality taking spirituality so seriously yeah, so before i answer that question i'll just try to tell my experience right so two years back i got connected with this group uh, i have been invited one one of the festival janmashtami from there my journey started right so for the benefits where i start realizing after um, getting connected with this group right so i'll just talk about first few points and hindi is okay or english subject. is okay what works best for everybody english or hindi what do you english works ha theek hai hindi also works mix okay. kar sakte ho aap so peace of mind right so that's one thing i realized that peace of mind second is purpose of life um, and the kids upbringing and then um, the family Uh, the family kind of environment which you get right so uh, peace of mind when i say right uh, you work in a corporate company like microsoft oracle or apple or whatever right you get whatever money you wanted to have you get that money whatever enjoyment you think about material life and you want to do party you want to have good food restaurant you want to go to the restaurant and all you get everything but ultimately Uh, if you start after 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 a couple of years, you start thinking about it. Right? But ultimately, you don't get any peace. You still have that kind of stress in the mind. You are not able to sleep. Morning, get up, and you start thinking about it. Uh, to, uh, now I have to go to office. There are some issues going on in software. Let me go there and start solving it. And there might be people issues. There might be a lot of things going on, right? And you don't get proper sleep also, right? When I got when I started having the connection with this group, I started having this Maha Mantra chanting. i started having the association with this group i started realizing that my somehow i started having that peace of mind uh, my sleep is better and i will tell you my experience my blood parameters were also deteriorated a lot and after starting having coming here my blood parameters also cholesterol and think about th uh, there were a lot of other parameters also they all got improved so within a year only it got improved so that is one thing now talking about a purpose of life uh, 
um, I'll explain in Hindi at a later. Let me complete in English and then uh, I'll talk about uh, talk in Hindi as well. Purpose of life, right? So after a retirement, what you guys are going to do, right? I, I was also thinking, okay, what will I do um, after uh, when I get retired, right? Maybe I might be just taking rest at home because I will have money. What should I do and all, right? There is no purpose of life, right? When I heard um, there is a hearing, uh, Prabhuji also was talking about it, right? So ultimately, we all are going to serve Krishna and what, what I'm going to hear, I'm also going to hear what Acharya has said, right? So you are going to have a plenty of sastras, you are going to have plenty of books written by Acharyas, you have a lot of things to do, right? Krishna's service, right? You might have somewhere, you might go in a temple, you might want to do a service, right? So the purpose of life is already defined now. Ultimately, when you are going to retire, you have something to do. You are going to do service of Krishna. You are going to hear certain lectures given by Krishna, uh, given by Acharyas. And you are going to have plenty of books which you are going to read. It. So it is, it, it is going to change your way of thinking. And, dev and there is a purpose of life is already defined. And then I, I talked about a kid's upbringing. And I was talking about this um, family kind of environment, right? So kids, if you see, right, nowadays they are social media available. You have a television. The kids are always in just looking at the social media, games, and they are just watching TV every time. It's like all, it's like a spoiled culture, right? So you wanted to do something for them. You wanted to, uh, though you might not be because of time and all, you are not able to post them certain things. When, we, when I came here, I saw there is a different environment. There, there are kids already there. They are also talking about slow cars. They are talking about very good things, and they know certain things. And there is a service mindset, right? Uh, even though I have seen, when I first time I came here, I saw there are people from Amazon, from different companies, they are all doing various kinds of services and nobody is thinking what I want to do uh, only this service or that service, whatever service, right? If somebody has to do a mopping, they are ready to do the mopping. And from there I started learning, if I am able to learn so many things, my kids are also going to learn the same. And if I do uh, RT, chanting and everything, my kids also started learning the same. So it is going to, it's, the kids are going to learn different different kind of environment and they are going to have a different kind of a, uh, we all want to live in an Indian culture, the ancient Indian culture, right? But somehow we are not able to teach them. But this environment, this situation is going to help them. The last thing is a family kind of environment, right? Um, so if you come here, there are set of people. And they're all, if you get into one trouble, they're all there to support you, okay? Uh, is, uh, what happened? And you will immediately start seeing so many messages, okay, do you need any help, do you need something? It's like, it's not a, uh, if, you, if you are in a corporate culture, it's all professional environment. It's all professional friendship. But if you are in a spiritual association, you get the family kind of bond, emotional bond, and you get a lot of support from them. In a summary, that is how I, I thought this is something, it is not about my thought, it's somehow I got into this direction. And it is helping me a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Mukesh. Thank you. Uh, Sandeep Prabhu, we can go to Sandeep Prabhuji. So, Sandeep Srivastava Prabhu, he is a, he's a director in Microsoft. Okay. Uh, and he's reasonably uh, been part of Microsoft for quite some time, right? Before, before being the director for program management, he was actually the head of all the, what was that? Can you, can, you, can you actually talk about your uh, uh, qualification? That will help. Okay, Prabhuji. Um, with all humility, I'll talk about it because Prabhuji has asked me to talk about it. So, 19 years in Microsoft. Uh, before that, I started Shadi.com. Some of you may be familiar with that. I did another startup after that from IIT Bombay, then got into Microsoft. In Microsoft, 19 years. My last role before the current role for five years was Chief of Staff for Microsoft IDC, India Development Center where I grew Microsoft from 4,000 employees to 14,000 employees in a period of three years. <laughs> and now I'm back into product and doing engineering, uh, very much like Prabhuji, and uh, we'll be happy to share my experience. Yeah, so the question that I have is like, you know, um, did you start taking your career lightly after you got into spirituality? It's a very, uh, I think, very important question. And um, I'm very fortunate to have found association of devotees over here because that, in a way, redefined how I look at work. And uh, I think the, I'll start from the basics. I think the basics really which, and Prabhuji is our Siksha Guru, so he has, he has 
brought us to a point where we even have the eligibility to share our experience. Uh, so the, the basics as I understand is I think the fact that we have a human body means that we have curiosity. Atah Brahm Jigyasa, which we talk about. And its basic uh, premise is uh, who are we, who is God, what is our relationship with God, but most importantly, who are these people? Who are the people we work with at workplace? Unless we don't understand this relationship, we'll never have an understanding of what we are trying to accomplish in workplace, at home, in society, and in the world. And having that understanding essentially is uh, the basis of, uh, of self-realization or, or bhakti yoga or spirituality that we talk about. So that is part one. I think second part is, at workplace, who do we think we are working for? So five years I talked about where I grew Microsoft from 4,000 to 14,000. I established Noida Development Center. I thought I was working for the uh, for the the smartest and the 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 most powerful person in Microsoft in India. Right? He's the managing director of India. But in the five year of that journey, I realized the life was full of misery. Life was very lonely at the top, and. Um, there was a lot of struggle, there was a lot of politics, and in the end, work would not give happiness. Um, so, I think coming into spirituality, you'll realize that anything that you do, all the basis of your karma actually is Krishna. So Krishna is the, is the supreme uh, personality of Godhead. Everything that we do, ha the center of that has to be Krishna. And the day I understood that, I decided I'll change, and I'll come back into product, and figure out a more meaningful, in, uh, way to work so that I can dedicate my work uh, both at work place as well as outside to Krishna. So that is the second part. The third part is essentially how of work. And that's the question that Prabhuji is asking. Did the intensity increase or decrease? I'll tell you the number of hours I put in the work had decreased. Earlier I used to work for 70 hours in a week. Now I work, work, work for not more than 40 hours in a week. Weekend shuru, weekend, weekend pay, I do not even touch my laptop. Um, my focus of the weekend is to make sure that I'm little contribution, whatever service I can do, I can do uh, on, sun, uh, on Saturdays over here, before that in DYS classes on Sunday. So in terms of the number of hours, it has come down. But in terms of my intensity, it has gone up. And the reason for that is because I now understand the, the, the whole um, uh, um, basis of karma. And, uh, and more importantly, the, uh, the difference between sakam karma and nishkam karma. And, uh, as a result, what happens is I'm able to disconnect from the work because I can detach myself. And uh, uh, uh <coughs> if you're able to, at least for me, I'll talk about with my experience. I think the basis of, if, you, if you're able to get to work where you are not, <coughs> you can develop detachment to work or you can uh, d develop attachment to Krishna. Uh, you don't have anger and you don't have a fear. No fear, no anger, no attachment is essentially <coughs> So no fear, no anger, um, no attachment to work essentially, at least for me I've realized I got to me a point where I'm able to disconnect myself from the work. <coughs> Everything that I do I do it keeping Krishna at the center of it. In fact, after I came into, uh, after I got more active with the association over here, I even made attempts to make sure that we have, <coughs> wherever possible, we have um, um, some of the uh, saints and gurus come to Microsoft and deliver lectures. And uh, we even have a very active uh, uh, group even in Microsoft. So we also meet and make sure that we are discussing <coughs> work in the context of how we can really uh, begin to create more meaningful impact in, in the life of the devotees as well as in the life of the non-devotees, how can we really bring them into a path uh, by creating the right association for them, by doing Bhagavad Gita distribution. So net-net, uh, intensity has increased, time has reduced, um, the basis of the karma has changed and that cr has created more joy and happiness because I'm able to now balance my life across work, life, uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, 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 bhakti. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, 
Next question I have is from Sonam Mataji. Sonam Mataji is a CEO. Do you want to talk about uh, your qualifications, Mataji, before I ask yeah. you the question? Yeah, I am a chartered accountant by profession. And, uh, can you be a little bit louder so that people can hear? Yeah, my name is Sonam and I am chartered accountant by profession. I have done a lot of study to become a chartered accountant, but <laughs> yes, I have worked also in bank also for two years. But right now I am doing practicing, but not full time. I am doing part time practicing because I have a kid also who is a bit <laughs> naughty. <laughs> so, okay. so Madhavi, the question is like, you know, what difference you see, I mean, like, you know, in other type of spiritual practices and Krishna consciousness? Yeah, so um, I joined actually in March. So what I feel after joining here is that uh, there are two types of uh, organization. One is Sanatan Dharam and other is non-Sanatan Dharam. So Sanatan Dharam believes in the Vedas, but non-Sanatan doesn't believe in Vedas. They don't uh, follow the scriptures. So in Sanatan Dharam also, those who are following the scriptures, they are also not that much clear about the purpose of life or about the, they are just telling the story. They are not just telling what are the learning we are getting from that story or example, Ramayana or Bhagavad Gita. So they are not, they are just quoting the uh, verses, but they don't know the practical application of the verses. So that difference I feel in the scorn that they know the crux they know the learnings which we are getting. They know how to apply the words in practical manner. So first is that. And second is there is a mentorship. There is counseling so that you can transform. So when I join here, I have seen so many changes in less time in me. So like that is only possible because of mentorship and counseling. Uh, whatever you feel that there you need a support or you need a guidance, people are there, devotees are there to help you. So it is like a spiritual education. So you can say it is like a school and there are levels like which you have to cross, like Prabhuji today also explained that there are levels of bhakti. So we have to treat it like that in a technical manner. We should not take it as a emotional or just uh, sentimental way of. So these things they explain in ASCON. And also they tell that how to satisfy your senses. Basically, we want to enjoy. So, bhakti is not just to, to be serious all the time. We can enjoy, we can enjoy with Krishna, Gauranga, Guru and Gauranga and Vaishnav. That is the main thing. So, main purpose of life is to serve the Guru, Gauranga and uh, Vaishnav. So, that is we got to know ki what hum yaan kar kya rahe hai. So, that is explained by Eskon. It is not just Mahabharat padadi, Ramayana padadi, that is how to how we are learning from these things so there that is clearly explained in the uh, escon so that difference i feel here and also there are so many nine uh, devotional service they have mentioned so it is not bhakti is not boring ki aapko baith ke padhna hai there are many kinds of nine devotional services they told like hearing chanting and uh, like serving the lotus feet and uh, um, like to serve Krishna as a, or Guru and Guranga as a friend. So there are many ways to serve. So there are total nine devotional services. And uh, if you want to talk about the senses that, uh, then that is also there is a way that if you want to see beautiful thing, then you can see deities. You can want to, you want to hear something, then you can listen the bhajan. You can enjoy in any manner you like. You can, you can enjoy by eating prasadam. You can enjoy, by uh, visiting temples. So there are many ways. So they, you will fully satisfied with Eskon because they give so much good explanation. No? So that difference you will feel when you join here. So this is the thing. Be a bit. Uh, crisp like you know let's try to conclude it in two minutes or so so that everybody gets a chance and they also are able to go so sukriti madhavi sukriti madhavi do you want to talk about like the company that you are, you are running and then i'll come to the question okay. you can so, be a bit louder i mean yeah. yeah okay so like we have a cyber security company in hyderabad and uh, so prabhuji can you ask me the question like yeah, so, yeah, Madhavi has, has a cyber security company, as uh, she said. So basically, the question I have is like, what inspired you to be part of Krishna consciousness? So, uh, all Prabhuji's and Mataji, so as you know, like, 
it's a to create a company i think uh, prabhu ji has done shadi.com so he is quite aware so doing that is a tough job then handling people taking decisions all those things created a lot of confusion not in only in my mind but even me and my husband both of them so uh, one day what happened that uh, i was uh, i stay in aparna cyber life and uh, i were i stay in f block so one day i met uh, two prabhu ji's one was abhishek prabhu ji and the other one i don't remember so i was having a conversation with them regarding my problems these kind of problems which i am facing how you can take a decision how you can be um, in this i mean have empathy for people and then take the right decision all those things all those confusion my mind was just in a mess so after having that conversation i came to know that in my own block i am having in a session of discover myself so that's how i got into it and after coming into it i have found peace of mind happiness ecstasy everything like and i'm a very new person i mean it's been only 4 or 5 months i've been into it but still i can feel the difference so uh, and another thing like i wanted to know what is sanatan dharma all those things i wanted to understand i wanted to understand bhagavad gita because i know i can you i can i mean that will help me to take decisions in day to day life and do things and i mean and and what has changed from there is that now i can really feel that uh, what god is understand about those things lot of changes come been for a period of 4 to 6 months okay Th- thank, thank you. you thank you thank you so we go to shalish mata ji uh, Sh- shalish mata ji you want to talk about your uh, material qualifications uh, hari krishna uh, shalish uh i work for microsoft uh working since last 10 years now and i work as a manager uh in my current role um and i have been associated with the uh, the this group and trying to practice krishna consciousness for last 2 years can, can you keep now. the mic close okay uh yeah so yeah i'm i'm with the group and associated with the group for last 2 uh, two years now and that's it yeah for Okay, so the question I have, uh, and for you and for Prabhuji also, like because uh, the Prabhuji also works in Microsoft and he's also a manager in Microsoft. For both of you, and I'll my pass the mic after that. Is that like you know, tell us about the joy you feel in Krishna consciousness. So I'll uh, just start with some background to really how I perceived this difference in joy and how my definition of happiness changed over time. Um, before like earlier uh, before 2 years i i was a normal materialistic person i would say uh, just working weekends were again like trying to cover up some extra work so that i can be ahead on monday and uh, and happiness and joy was pretty much about like targeting the next promotions buying something new and and or eating something different right so so pretty much i would say yeah i was at the level of animal life and and how we usually perceive joy and happiness in our life right but uh, once i actually started associating here i i started with the dys program and and then started with bhagavad gita classes and and i really understood that we are actually soul and and that's where we understood that or i started to think about that once i die i'm not going to take this house or this promotion or my current job with me right after so how can that be the goal of my life uh, so that question actually made me feel like this is not really my goal and this cannot be the definition of my happiness right and uh, and that's where i started understanding and and guru uh, prabhu ji is is my guru and how i have started understanding about krishna consciousness and i really started to and un- started to chant started to uh, serve here uh, for for our class by cooking and different ways uh, by taking up different services and and that's where i started to understand that happiness is is where we are satisfying our soul and and that is the goal of our 
life and that should be the goal and that is where the happiness would be a persistent happiness. Uh, uh, just for example, right, once I, I get promoted, very next day actually I, I lose the happiness of being promoted because, because it, it has its it has its own frustration of taking up the new role and how to, and we actually start to look for the next state of happiness. And, and it becomes a, per, a continuous race without really giving us a consistent uh, state of, or be, without letting us be in a consistent state of happiness. But once I started chanting and serving here, I started understanding that joy and happiness is about being in that consistent state of happiness. And that's how I define joy and happiness in my life now. And I'm trying to practice how I associate every activity in my life with Krishna. And as uh, Sandeep Prabhuji also um, uh, talked about, how I can really change my ambitions to using those ambitions for Krishna, how I can serve by achieving those uh, ambitions in my life and give a, or get to a, a better state of joy and happiness which is consistent. Thank you. Thank you. Can we pass to Tarun Prabhu? Tarun Prabhu? So Tarun Prabhu uh, is Mataji's husband and he is also a manager in Microsoft. So Prabhu, do you want to describe like uh, the joy that you... Hare Krishna Prabhuji. So uh, I'll be keep it very short. Uh, so you realize that uh, joy is internal. So the first thing I think, the first foremost thing uh, I realized here is uh, joy is internal. You need not seek it outside and you must seek it inside. There are other means like being, uh, doing service, uh, having association and all those things. And when I joined here, I realized like how other Prabhujis and Matajis are serving, right? Their selfless attitude and uh, service to God I see myself nowhere uh, in front of them and I'm just learning uh, and I'm realizing that yes, uh, joy is all internal and by seeing all these great people around me, I just feel humbled. So thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So we can move to Lokesh Prabhu. Lokesh Prabhu, uh, do you want to talk about your uh, past and current uh, material qualifications? Hare Krishna Guru. Uh, uh, my past is basically I started my journey in armed forces uh, in Navy and after serving for, for 15 years uh, for the nation I you know retired and I started my second inning as in corporate uh, mainly into cyber security right so throughout the Navy also I was into cyber ring and throughout my journey from 2018 till date I'm into cyber security currently I am uh, in Amazon taking care of their cyber security stuff Right. So uh, when I talk about my this spiritual journey, journey right. So the I was question, always the question I have is like you know what joy you feel uh, about serving devotees. Yeah. So I would say this is a great question. I think this suits me also. Uh, I was always fascinated about ISKCONs. Right? They do things, you know, the kirtans, the prasadam, and they treat, when you go to the temple, they treat you like, you know, you are their permanent member, right? So I was always fascinated. In very remote area, in naval base Karwar, there was a, there, there was a ISKCON, and that experience I never forgot, right? So I was always fascinated, as I said. So when I landed in Hyderabad uh, three years, you know, before, so one of uh, Prabhuji, Raji Prabhu, he's not there. I came in uh, contact with him and then he said that we have a group, right, where you can also join and then start, you know, uh, reading and learning about Gita. And that was, I think, uh, the change of my life, right? Uh, I think I would say more than two years now. And uh, then I started the device program, you know, learning about who I am, uh, who am I basically, and the basics of in, uh, Gita. I'll keep it very short. And then I also learned the karma, right? Till now, I am still doing the, maybe I would not say sakam karm, but karm khan. But this time when I spend here and whatever function we do here as a group, so I think that I am doing a nishkam karm, right? Serving devotee, you know, you know, serving anything that I do here, I feel that I am doing nishkam, nishkam karm. Uh, Radhana Swami always say, that when a devotee is happy by doing, by your service, that is the real happiness that you, you should feel. Otherwise, you are just doing a sakam karma, even if you claim so. 
that I am doing Nishkaran Karam. If he is happy, then <coughs> you should get that happiness, right? So it's a great responsibility, come with the great challenges also, because you have to always keep uh, in mind that the devotee, the Vaishnav, should not be feel harm, should not be feel like, you know, that he is not being served in a, in a proper way. Although they never, because that's what the Vaishnava Dharma is, right? But that's a very great responsibility when you serve the, you know, devotees. I think I will stop here. I am learning Nishkam Karma when I do, you know, when I serve, you know, uh, the Vaishnava here, devotees here, whatever I do, whatever my service assigned to me, and I also look forward to that, what extra services that I can get. And these two years have changed me a lot. It changed me a lot. Trust me. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, same question I have for uh, Shivam Prabhu. Shivam Prabhuji, uh, do you want to talk about your material quantifications since when you are in Microsoft and things? On, yeah, turn it on. Yeah, so I'm in Microsoft for last uh, 16 years. Uh, the spiritual journey started 18 years back when I was in uh, I am Bangalore and there is a course on spirituality and how do you become a better manager so I think the course was phenomenal the question the question is simple like yeah. what joy you get while serving yeah the joy I get is that uh, again as Prabhuji said that doing the Nishkam Karm Yoga because before that I was more into the bondage of Karm and Fal so uh, if you do some work you expect something in return but while, while serving the devotees, uh, you feel that you feel humble. So uh, that is the first quality. And then you get the joy, joy of serving others without uh, expecting for any fruit uh, in return. So I think that is the stage probably I'm in. It is a, it, it's going to be a long journey, but I think uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, thank you. Th thank you. OK, so uh, to Amit Prabhu, Amit Prabhu, do you want to talk about your uh, what, what do you do here in Microsoft? So I am also with Microsoft. Most of the people are from Microsoft, so yeah. Uh, I am data scientist at Microsoft. Uh, completed 16 years like him, uh, and 17 years in there, yeah. Yeah, so question is like, how do you balance your spiritual and office work? Okay, so before I say anything, you don't think that you don't understand Hindi? You don't think that the job that you do is very difficult and now you're very happy. वो अभी भी खुश है, थोड़ा पहले भी खुश थे, अभी ज़्यादा खुश हैं। तो first thing I want to make clear कि job कर रहे हैं ना, because my question is like that कि आप balance कैसे करते हैं spiritual and material life। पहली चीज़ ये है कि हम लोगों को ना जो balance है ना, वो बनाना पड़ता है। आप लोगों उसमें cycle किसको चलानी है तो cycle, सब cycle चला लेते हैं। और कितने लोग ऐसे हैं जो cycle चलाते हैं, सीखते ह so when we drive the cycle, the most fun thing is when we sit on the seat and the cycle is going straight. And we fall down when the cycle is on the table. So when the mode comes, the cycle is on the table. So when the cycle is on the table, what do we do? If the cycle is on the table, we will make a little balance to make a little balance. So that's what we do. And if the cycle is on the table, we will make a little balance to make a little balance. So what do we do? We do balancing. Life is also like this. When we are in material life, we are frustrated because we don't know how to balance the other side and how to balance the other side. But when we are in spirituality, we know what to balance the other side and how to balance the other side. It's like a cycle. Right? So when we are in spiritual life, we are in spiritual life. We are in spiritual life. तो कभी-कभी ऐसा होता है कि जब हम जॉब कर रहे होते हैं तो कुछ स्पिरिचुअल एक्टिविटीज आ जाती हैं, स्पिरिचुअल एक्टिविटी के बीच में जॉब आ जाती है, फिर उस फैमिली में जाती है, तो प्रॉब्लम कहाँ होती है जब हम ये सोचते हैं कि यार पढ़ाई भी करनी है, जैसे आप स्टूडेंट्स हो, तो आपको पढ़ाई भी देखो इतनों के मन में आता है गुड डरो नहीं डरो नहीं कोई पॉइंट आउट नहीं करेगा राइट तो द फैक्ट दैट इज देयर इज हम जब अपने टू डूज बनाते हैं ना तो हम टू डूज में लिखते हैं हमारे टू डू है कॉलेज जाना है पढ़ाई करनी है जॉब लेना है फिर हमने टू डू में लिखते हैं मैं चैंटिंग करनी है मंगल आरती में जाना है यहाँ जाना है प्रॉब्लम यह है कि हम जब टू डू बनाते हैं ना तो हम भक्ति को स्परिचुअलिटी को या इस पात को एक टू डू मानते हैं बट इट इज नॉट ए टू डू इट्स एन अदर वे टू योर टू डूज दैट यू आर ऑलरेडी डूइंग आई रिपीट it's not another to do. Your chanting, your mangal arti, your spiritual work, your serving is not another to do. It's another way to do the same to do. So, if you understand that this is the way to live in the life, then you will not have an extra burden. And that is why we, most of us people learn here. 
डेट्स में ये सारे लोग जो यहाँ पे बैठे हुए हैं स्टेज पे ये सारे लोग अपनी जॉब में पहले भी एक्सेल कर रहे थे और अब ज्यादा एक्सेल कर रहे हैं पहले जो 70 घंटे काम कर रहे थे वो 40 घंटे कर रहे हैं और जो 70 घंटे में नहीं मिलता था वो 40 घंटे में डबल मिलता है और यहाँ पे भी सर्व कर पाते हैं तो जब आप भी अपनी लाइफ में देखोगे ना तो जो ये पाथ है ना इट गिवस यू एन एनर्जी ए मोटिवेशन ए क्लैरिटी ऑफ थाट एवरी थिंग इन वेंग डूइंग थिंग्स द सेम टू डू दैट यू आर ऑलरेडी डूइंग इन एन अदर वे and that another way is always a better way and that is why i balance my lives so sorry it is 2 minutes so i have to cut short and thank you thank you thank you hari <laughs> bol okay so last uh, and not the least like you know uh, himanshu bro do you want to talk about your qualifications then yeah hi i am himanshu so like uh, lokesh prabhu ji i have also served in indian navy for 10 years and uh, post completion of my naval tenure i am in amazon working since last 2 years into investigations and loss prevention so yeah that is all about me so before we go to the question i just wanted to ask kitne log fauji banna chahte hain yahan pe haath upar khada karenge i see a lot of energy in the room 1 2 3 three army yeah matlab koi fauji fauji is army navy air force tinon ke liye rehta hai so okay good so before i go to the question i just want to say while you are in krishna consciousness the word service is used for the lord and the word service is used for the country so while you are doing service to the lord that brings the right attitude in you to serve the country also so i would say that yes if you are serving the lord you are in the right path and definitely if you go towards this part of career definitely there is no stoppages you will do the best of your best of your abilities okay yeah, thanks okay so the question i have is like you know how spirituality helped in your material and corporate life yeah definitely since kafi kuch to sab eminent speakers ne keh diya but just to put my last thoughts around it see while i was in armed forces the priorities was very much set ki the first comes your country then comes your men and then finally comes your yourself and your family that is the last priority that comes to you and then bhagwan ke bare mein to koi baat nahi karta fauj mein seedhi si baat hai so <laughs> as simple as that because that is you go straight you just take a gun and fight your up ship pe or just sail and do your job the point is while you come into this with charity you actually understand that this is not just the life that you are supposed to live you are supposed to make a balance which the balance amit prabhu ji also spoke uh, we had a great speaker out here chatane prabhu ji who spoke that you need to create a balance between your artha your kama your dharma dharma is your devotion towards your god so chatane charan prabhu was here yeah yeah it was chatane charan prabhu i am just state, stating so a balance towards your god balance towards your duties towards your family and towards uh, yourself what you are doing for the devotion of god your family and your work so you need to create a balance because all these three things are not different okay ultimately if you create the right balance you ultimately you will achieve the highest of your goals and the point of you the age which you are right now because i can very well relate because i abhi meri bhi yahi age kuch cross hui hai kuch saalon pehle is time you are in the most highest forms of energy and if you channelize your energy well through focus discipline and consistency definitely you will achieve what you want just don't get like satisfied ki meri naukri lag gayi hai 40 50000 aa rahe hain 1 lakh rupaye ka salary mein aa rahe hain i am done no achieve focus on your job and do it everything in the name of krishna you are serving lord in all your works and definitely that will bring a great change in your life thank you hari bol yeah so it's 7:20 but uh, i don't know if you all have time we can do some questions i mean if anybody has questions or we finish it whatever you desire whatever you decide you have all the time train is already missed all right so theek hai to fir question na if anybody has any questions you can ask uh, any one of any any of them or anybody in the audience can also answer i mean like you know, please you can, you can point out to anybody also if you have any question for any specific person yeah any questions anybody has please See, for all of you, it's a great opportunity because you don't get to meet uh, so many people who are very, very seasoned in professional life every day, right? And by the way, this is not the uh, everybody who's sitting now. There are people from Microsoft, so many, so many different companies. People who are working, who are not working, even they are like MBAs and big, big people, right? So, if you have any questions, please ask. Who? Oh, uh, Hari Krishna, bro. So, I, I just have this one question. Uh, now. we have some material aspirations that we want to accomplish in our life at the same time we have received this wonderful krishna consciousness in our life and we want to prioritize that as well on one side there is aspiration and on the other side there is our uh, uh, basic practices of krishna consciousness that we don't want to uh, like uh, hamper like uh, so 
while chasing behind the aspirations what should be my uh, like while going after the aspirations what should be my approach like how how should i be thinking about you know, balancing in between so i think uh, amit prabhu said it very well that do not think of krishna consciousness as a burden as a tax that you have to pay it's a way of living your life and uh, i can tell you my own story i started with krishna consciousness in 2003 this was from bombay this was 108th anniversary of uh, uh, Srila Prabhupada and the celebration was going on in Azad Maidan. <coughs> right? So I was passing through the Azad Maidan, I got uh, some devotees just uh, got hold of me, we started chanting, dancing and I got into Krishna consciousness. And at that point of time I, I think I was confused, I didn't understand how it will add to my material aspiration. So for maybe for 15 years I was confused after that. Um, my journey started in 2003, but along the along the path, I got confused. I went here and there, and which is where I struggled because I never thought that Krishna consciousness is going to give me so much of uh, clarity in what I want to go for and how I want to go for for both of them. So the moment you realize that Krishna consciousness will help me have clarity for why I am doing what I am doing and what is the like everyone goes for the short term. Short term is all about money. But what is the long term success I'm chasing and how can I get to it? Right? You will realize that it does not remain a tax. It becomes, becomes an aid for you to get to your material aspiration. As long as the material aspiration, the center of that is Krishna. My litmus test is if at all you have an aspiration which is not centered around Krishna, I think double question is maybe that's not the right aspiration to have because sooner or later you realize that that will lead to the path of misery and then there'll be trouble because uh, this word is ashaswat dukhalyam so there will be misery the only uh, uh, only purpose with which we can work is the happiness of lord or happiness of krishna right so as long as that clarity is there in his happiness will lie our happiness and the path to make him happy will go via the service to uh, our guru um, uh, and uh, and devotees and Vaishnavas, right? So at least that's my experience. I'll, I'll also invite others to share. Anybody has any? Does it answer your question? You have any follow-up? No, it answered the question, but now, like, I, I would like to ask one question to you as well, because he mentioned uh, you saying this. So the, the, the principle which you gave is very subtle and very beautiful, I felt. Like, uh, it's a way of, uh, but it's not to do, but it's way of doing the things. Yes. So, I, I, just, I would just like to ask, could you please share some example for me to understand it better? How can I, like, it's not, like, my chanting of 16 rounds or reading of Shil Prabhupada books, it does not become a to do, but it becomes a way for me to balance other things. Okay. So how many of you feel 24 hours is a very less time? Okay, I actually, I am an adjunct professor also at universities. So I have traveled more than 22 universities in Andhra and more than almost 78 all over India. And on my weekends I go there as well. Okay, now the first question that I get from people and they are not Krishna conscious. They are all students who are fighting for placements in companies where we are working already, right? The first question, the first question they ask me, ki mera Microsoft mein job kaise lagega, mujhe bata do. Because they have a very short term goal. Unko job chahiye, unko paisa chahiye, that is what they are looking for. So when I go to colleges, the first disclaimer I put in my slides, PPT is, I am representing my thoughts, not of my employer. Taki ye question mere ko nahi hai. Now coming back to your question, ki agar 24 hours aapko kam lagta hai, how to manage your day. The way, I will share how I manage my day. The way I manage my day is I always have a to-do list with me. Okay, that is usually one day advance, number one. Number two, I do not allow distraction to come in my way. When I sleep at 9 o'clock, I will switch off my phone. If my father is also calling me, then they don't get the phone, because I have given the landline number. But he asked me one day, why do you switch off the phone? I said, because I want to wake up early in the morning, and I don't want anyone to disturb me at that time. I'm not saying you try these crazy ideas. These are really, really crazy sometimes. But what I'm trying to do, in 24 hours, whenever you feel bored, whenever you feel tired, you do not have time to study or you want a break, take time, complete a one or two rounds, come back to studies. What people do in jobs and what people do, students do in colleges is, they take a break with friends, they go to tea stall or tea counter in the offices, they spend half an hour, they bring 100 bad thoughts in mind and that disturb their complete routine of the day also. 
सो आपका इनपुट कैसा है ना दैट इट्स मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट देन दैट राइट नाउ सेकेंड थिंग इज आई वर्क विद माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सो सम ऑफ यू माइट भी थिंकिंग मैं नौ बजे कैसे सो जाता हूँ मेरी तो मीटिंग्स होती हैं सो आई सेट दैट एक्सपेक्टेशन एट ऑफिस के भाई देखो मैं रिकॉर्डिंग कर लो मैं सुबह सुन लूँगा टेक्नोलॉजी एडवांस है सुबह सुन लूँगा तो मैं क्या करता हूँ लंच टाइम पे खाना खाने नहीं जाता हूँ कलिक्स के साथ वो सारी रिकॉर्डिंग जो रात की होती है मैं सुबह लंच टाइम में ख़त्म कर लेता हूँ उससे दो फायदे होते हैं पहला फायदा तो ये होता है कि मैं वो कंपनी अवॉइड करता हूँ जो मुझे नहीं चाहिए मुझे कुछ मिलेगा नहीं उससे सेकंड थिंग जो मेरा रात का बैकलॉग होता है वो सुबह पूरा हो जाता है राइट सो द पॉइंट इज आपको भी देखना पड़ेगा कि द कंपनी दैट यू आर एन एज ए स्टूडेंट आर यू एन ए कंपनी विच वेस्ट योर टाइम और आर यू एन ए कंपनी विच क्रिएट्स मोर टाइम फॉर यू इन योर ब्रेन राइट क्योंकि जब भी आप कोई काम करते हो ना एक्चुअली में काम हो चुका होता है आधा काम मन कर चुका होता है आपको कहीं जाना है ना तो आप ट्रेन की टिकट कटा लोगे मन में ट्रेन में बैठ जाओगे खाना भी ले लेगे आप पहुंच भी जाओगे देन योर मटेरियल बॉडी गोज एंड टेक्स द टिकट इट सिट्स इन द ट्रेन इट गोज टू समर प्लेस सो वॉट इज है माइंड एक्चुअली कंप्लीट सो वर्क इन एडवांस ओनली इफ यू सी द माइंड मैकेनिज्म मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम सो आप लोग ये देखो कि अगर आपको पंद्रह मिनट मिलते हैं आपको रिलैक्स करना है चैंटिंग करना है शास्त्र पढ़ने या अगर टाइम है तो कुछ कान में लगा के हेडफोन में कुछ लेक्चर सुनना है भजन सुनना है वट एवर बिकॉज इट विल एनर्जाइज यू इट विल नॉट ड्रेन यू और अगर आप ऐसे दिन में तीन चार बार करोगे ना आप हमेशा ऑब्जर्व करना क्योंकि मैंने पर्सनली ऑब्जर्व किया है कि आई एक्चुअली गेट द एनर्जी रदर देन ड्रेनिंग माई एनर्जी जो लोग सोचते हैं कि पंद्रह मिनट के ब्रेक में हम जाके एनर्जी ले आएंगे चाय पी के और दोस्तों से बात करके एक्चुअली में ऑनेस्टली स्पीकिंग दे ड्रेन देयर एनर्जी और वो पंद्रह मिनट जब आप बचाते हो ना तो एक्सपोनेंशियली वन आवर आपको मिलता है पहले पंद्रह मिनट जो आप बर्बाद करने वाले थे दूसरे पंद्रह मिनट जो आप रिलैक्स करोगे तीसरे पंद्रह मिनट जो आप नया सुनोगे और चौथे पंद्रह मिनट जो आप वापस से जल्दी से कॉन्टेक्ट स्विचिंग करोगे सो हाउ मेनी टाइम यू गेट वन आवर राइट एंड यू ऑल हैव स्टडी ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम यस ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम में एक चीज होती है कॉन्टेक्ट स्विचिंग वॉट इज कॉन्टेक्ट स्विचिंग कॉन्टेक्ट स्विचिंग मीन्स आप एक काम में कर रहे हो अगर आपको दूसरे काम में लगा दिया जाए तो एक काम से दूसरे काम में जाने के लिए दिमाग कितना टाइम लेता है ये होता है ना प्रोसेस का कॉन्टेक्ट स्विचिंग तो जो कॉन्टेक्ट स्विचिंग होता है ना डेवोटी का धीरे धीरे इंप्रूव होता है स्टूडेंट का धीरे धीरे इंप्रूव होता है एकदम से नहीं होता मुझे भी टाइम बहुत लगा अभी भी लग रहा है अभी भी बहुत टाइम लगता है तो कॉन्टेक्ट स्विचिंग आपको बहुत अच्छा हो जाएगा जब आप कॉन्टेक्ट स्विचिंग अच्छा होगा ना तो आप पंद्रह मिनट ब्रेक लेने के बाद जैसे वापस स्टडीज में होगे ना फट से स्टडीज कर लोगे तो देखो आपको पंद्रह मिनट मिलकर कितना टाइम मिल गया ठीक है और लास्ट टिप मैं आपको देता हूँ जो मैंने पर्सनल लाइफ में बहुत फॉलो करता हूँ मेरी फैमिली में भी कई बार मैं फॉलो नहीं कर पाता हूँ दैट्स अ डिफरेंट थिंग बट नाइन टू ट्वेल्व की स्लीप कभी मिस मत करो नेवर एवर मिस दैट स्लीप आयुर्वेदा क्लियरली टेल्स नौ से बारह की नींद तीन घंटे की नहीं होती है छः घंटे की होती है एवरी वन आवर स्लीप रिकवर्स यू मेंटली एंड फिजिकली टू आवर्स सो नाइन टू ट्वेल्व कितने आवर्स हो गए सिक्स आवर्स ट्वेल्व टू थ्री की स्लीप हमेशा वन आवर की होती है एवरी आवर तो कितने घंटे की हो गई तीन घंटे की तो टोटल कितना हो गया अगर आप नाइन ओ सोते हो तीन बजे उठते हो तो नाइन आवर्स एक स्टूडेंट को कितना सोना चाहिए सेवन टू नाइन आवर्स ठीक है वैसे तो सिक्स आवर्स भी सोने का टारगेट बनाते हैं कि इतना पढ़ना है ये करना है वो करना है बट ठीक है नाइन आवर्स तो आपको कितना कितना रेस्ट मिल गया बॉडी को नाइन आवर्स का आप नौ बजे सो जाओ तीन बजे उठोगे पूरे दिन में थोड़ा डाउजी रहेगा लेकिन समटाइम आफ्टर समटाइम यूल प्रैक्टिस एट सोलो जी तो आप नौ से बारह की स्लीप मिस मत करो और बारह से तीन की मत करो और आयुर्वेदा ये भी बोलता है कि तीन बजे के बाद जो सोते हैं ना वो एवरी आवर रेस्ट आपको सिर्फ हाफ एन आवर का मिलता है आप कभी भी ट्राई कर लेना तो जो बायोलॉजिकल और मैथमेटिकल क्लॉक है ना वो नाइन टू थ्री में आपको सिक्स आवर्स की स्लीप देगी लेकिन बॉडी को नाइन आवर की मिलेगी लेकिन अगर आप बारह बजे सो के सुबह सोचो कि मैं रही रात को स्टडी करता हूँ बारह बजे सोऊंगा और मैं सुबह छः बजे जाऊंगा तो बाइक लोग आपके तब भी सिक्स आवर्स ही होंगे लेकिन एक्चुअल रेस्ट कितना होगा फोर एंड हाफ आवर्स ओनली नॉ इफ यूर ए स्मार्ट पर्सन यू शुड थिंक वॉट यूर डूइंग तीन बजे उठ के नहा धो के चैंटिंग भी कर सकते हो मंगल आरती में भी जा सकते हो रिवीजन भी कर सकते हो एग्जाम भी दे सकते हो एंड एवरीथिंग इज इन द सर्विस ऑफ कृष्णा क्योंकि अगर आप अच्छा जॉब पाके अच्छी जगह जाके कुछ अच्छा करोगे तो वो जब जो पैसा लोगे वो कृष्णा की सर्विस में लगाओगे बुक्स खरीदोगे बुक्स बांटोगे सर्विस करोगे डोनेशन करोगे और लोगों को जोड़ोगे और लोगों को बताओगे और उन्हें इंस्पायर करोगे कि देखो मैं भी कर रहा हूँ और तुम भी कर सकते हो दैट्स द डिफरेंस डिज इट आंसर नाउ परफेक्ट थैंक यू So Prabhuji, please let us know when we want to, us to stop. Otherwise, let it go. Okay. <laughs> Prabhu
and uh, does this happen in, with your corporate life also like if a director a director of microsoft is going into the office and others are seeing he's wearing kanti mala then is it a proper like a proper thing uh, in uh, microsoft that in other corporate that they see it lightly they take it okay or it's like you go to them you want to preach to them and they run away it's it's the case or what No, again, uh, a very good question. Um, I'll try to answer it in short and then I'll see if uh, others have to add. Um, see, first thing is I think, uh, and this is again Amit Prabhuji taught me, uh, I think each one of us lives our, is living through our solo journey. Soul is really going through this world to elevate and uh, get to the Gokul Dham. So whatever you do, First of all, realize that you are doing it for your soul. You are the soul, right? And which is where I think you have to be comfortable with what you are doing without really worrying about what others are thinking or what others are influencing. And uh, I think there is a saying, right? Are you giving association? Are you taking association? So your objective should be to give association, right? And to get to that point, you have to be complete with yourself, with your identity. And you're right, for uh, maybe 15, years in Microsoft, I had never had the courage to put Kantimala. I even contemplated whether I should put the Tilak or not. Um, there are Prabhuji's in Microsoft who also put Tilak and come to the office, by the way. Right? And uh, you will see uh, people from other religion, they follow their religion very, very rigorously, very vigorously. They come to Microsoft with all kinds of uh, visible marks which reflect their religion. Right? But as Sanatan Dharmis, I think we have the stigma whether we should uh, look like uh, like uh, us following uh, our uh, uh, our path or we should just fit in with the rest of the people. I think you'll have the courage to be what you're pursuing if you realize it is your journey. And second, you realize that you are comfortable with your identity, with who you are, because whoever you are is a birth that uh, your soul desired. Um, from its last birth and you ended up being what you are and you have to utilize it to make spiritual progress. People who are making these comments essentially <coughs> are not coming in to help, right? So why do you really have to get affected by them? Unless they are devotees who are really helping you understand uh, and support you in your spiritual journey. So at least that's my... Yeah. I, I can add something here basically because I also work in Microsoft by the way and uh, I do wear Kantimala and uh, without any hindrance. Okay, and I've been doing this for multiple other companies that I've worked on. So basically, one thing I'll tell you is like, you know, if you're convinced about something now, then you don't worry about who's laughing, right? I mean, uh, if somebody is smoking, they don't worry about it. They, can, they are totally convinced they don't have any problem. Parents gali bhi denge, to bhi smoke karenge, whatever it is, right? People are laughing, unke aas paas wale bhi hai, to koi problem nahi hai, right? To, Agar aap convinced ho na ki what you are doing makes sense to you, thik hai? So then you will not feel shy about it, right? And I will personally tell you like, you know, a moment which actually inspired me into Krishna consciousness, okay? And the moment was, there was a meeting going on in my one of my previous, previous companies, okay? Aur vaha par ek kaafi intense discussion chal raha tha. There was a very senior person who was there aur kaafi intense, kuch toh bhoat serious aisa ho raha tha ki sab log tension mein the. Aur mele saamne ek, person sat down, he was wearing kanti mala and that person was very peaceful. Okay, and that was the only person in the room who was peaceful. Okay, and when I saw this, na, I got this desire for the first time in my life. What is this? Why is this so peaceful? I am getting so frustrated, so much tension, and why is this person so peaceful? Hai? Okay, and that was, maybe, and that was the trigger where I started exploring what, what is this guy doing? Right. So you, by your sm small, simple act, you may be preaching without doing any explicit preaching. You said, right, ki how do we talk to people, this, that, whatever. Right. It's not about you saying that, oh, lo Bhagavad Gita lo. Nahin, nahin, even by your actions, you end up inspiring people. Right. And as I said, right, it's just about we being convinced about it. Sardar ji, pagadi pen ke jate hai, koi hasta hai kya? Right. आपको मैं बता रहा हूँ कि इतने सारे मुस्लिम्स होते हैं जिनकी दाढ़ी बड़ी होती है क्या पता है स्कल क्या पॉल ऑफ दैट राइट दे आर फाइन विथ इट व्हाई डू फील शाय अबाउट वेयरिंग अ कंटी माला और अतिलक व्हाई शुड वी फील शाय अबाउट इट राइट 
it is just we. I mean, it's just you who's thinking like that. Honestly, now I have interacted with a lot of people who are uh, who are not from this country and variety of cultures, different type of people. They really appreciate. Pata hai, they appreciate if you are convinced about your culture. Lot of people they may try to poke you also. Ye kyo pehna hai? Isse kya hoga? Right? I say I get peace. So, मुझे भी ला दो मैंने बोला बिल्कुल आ जाओ I mean come someday I I will tell you how to get this no problem right so if you are convinced if you are adamant about like nee see I am right so I'll tell you I mean so many examples in life right you know I I went to Australia at one point uh, in my previous company and there I stick to my principles ठीक है आप लोग कुछ भी खाओ मैं नहीं खाऊंगा right so they it went on for two three days finally they said कि यार आप खाओगे क्या मतलब यू नो आप कुछ खाते ही नहीं हो हमारे साथ so I said only one place uh, in this place I know I googled for it. I figured out there is a Govinda sir. I said, "Chalo, agar chalna hai to hamare saath, right?" And I took everybody. I mean, everybody, all of them were not. Most of them were foreigners, and they really appreciated. They were happy because they wanted fine. I mean, like you know, if this guy uh, will be okay with it, let's all go together. And they were happy with the food that they got. And they were all native of Australia, that city, and they never had it in that restaurant. Okay, so it's not about we forcing anybody. It's just like you know, the joy, the calm, the peace that we have now because of whatever we are doing. If you really have you have it, it will show up, and it is our way of helping people, okay, so that they get to know. And it's about we being convinced about what we are following, right? Sharma, sharam kaise isme, <laughs> right? Abhi jo cigarette pita hai, jo sharab pita hai, jo aur kuch kam karta hai, wo to nahi sharmata. Aap kyu sharma rahe ho jab aap acha kam kar rahe ho to, <laughs> right? Anyways. Any other questions? Please Please one, one more question. Now you have a eight hours work time, eight hours work time, and you have to work also. And in lunch time and all, you do uh, your extra work like sadha. You complete your backlogs and all. But then how how do you get or what time you get to like convince others, to preach others, to give them some things, to inspire them? So what time you get out of and what are your preaching strategies in the corporate? <laughs> See, actually, yeah, it is about having a purpose. अगर हम हम कन्विंस होते हैं ना कि मुझे बस मेरे को ना वीकेंड पे बैडमिंटन खेलना जरूरी है नहीं तो मेरा काम नहीं चलता राइट या किसी का होता है मुझे अपने दोस्तों के साथ टाइम स्पेंड करना जरूरी है तो आप टाइम निकाल ही लेते हो राइट इट इज नॉट अबाउट टाइम इट इज नॉट अबाउट दैट इट इज अबाउट योर प्रायोरिटी आपकी लाइफ में प्रायोरिटी क्या रखता है ठीक है ना आप उसके लिए टाइम निकाल लेते हो ना बच्चों के साथ मुझे टाइम स्पेंड करना है भाई जो भी हो जाए राइट right? अभी अगर आपके लिए ये जो है ना ये जो स्पिरिचुअलिटी है ना ये हमेशा सेकेंड थर्ड फोर्थ लेवल की चीज होती है देन यूल नेवर हैव टाइम देन यूल से क्या टाइम ही नहीं है राइट नो मैटर व्हाट हैपेंस इन माय लाइफ ना पर्सनली आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू माय माय थिंग नो मैटर व्हाट हैपेंस मॉर्निंग में सेवन ओ क्लॉक के पहले आई ट्राई टू फिनिश ऑल द ऑल द थिंग्स दैट आई हैव टू डू फॉर द डे ओके विच मीन्स लाइक कंप्लीटिंग माई चैंटिंग रीडिंग मंगल आरती एवरीथिंग No matter what happens, and what happens really for most of the days is that that my calls at night at 10:00 to 11:00 are still going on in the office. But it doesn't matter because it's a priority for me, na. So it's okay. Two hours will pass. One day will be a problem. Next day will be a little more. What is the problem? Hai? Right? Because I know this is a priority. If I don't do this, I will not feel what I feel right now. I feel in control of the situation, which doesn't mean things work as per me. Even if they don't work as per me, na, still I am peaceful. right so that happens if i have completed my sadhana and that's my realization so i do it it is all about that now why to preach how to preach why to do it in the corporate life there is no better way to actually be connected to spirituality than to preach it's a long subject okay and a deep subject but one small thing i'll tell you what is ki i or many people are people some of more people are preaching here now in the all group basically all of them they have to spend few hours every day throughout the week and what it means is that throughout the week you are connected to krishna because aapne apna sar phasa diya na aapko pata hai ki sunday ke din morning mein kuch log aane wale hain yahan pe theek hai abhi aapke paas choice nahi hai koi iska matlab ye hai ki chahe meri life mein kuch bhi ho 2 ghante 3 ghante nikal ke mujhe thoda apni preparation karni padegi right so it is like giving a commitment jaise hum bolte hai na ki boss job mein ek khatam karna hai itne din pe So that's it. Then you struggle, you stretch, you do whatever. That is your problem, right? You're doing a service. I mean, <laughs> right? It's not. It, it, it may sound complicated. It is not that complicated. Right? It's a long discussion, but someday else. Preaching is a deeper topic. Anyways. Hare Krishna. So, Guruj, my question is: How to have sufficient fear of Maya while working in corporate? Anybody wants to take it? 
Uh, you want to take it? Uh, how do basically there is so much Maya in corporate world? How do you handle it? It's <laughs> a very good question. Um, so yeah, definitely. When I was talking about uh, the pr first qu first question of Prabhuji, right? I was talking about um, enjoyment and this and that. You get party and all. So when you start getting into the spiritual life, right? Um, I'll take a first thing. I, somebody was asking about Kanti Mala, and I think Prabhuji answered. I wanted to add one line for that also. Um, I take this Kanti Mala as an opportunity for me to talk about Krishna consciousness in the office. Otherwise, you will never get an opportunity to talk about Krishna consciousness. Right? Um, now, I'm going back to the, your, uh, just now you asked that question, right? So definitely there is a Maya, right? Uh, how are you going to overcome? I think uh, Prabhuji was taking a class before you guys came, right? He was talking about uh, hearing um, sastras, hearing lectures and all, right? We keep hearing this Sarvam, right? Sarvam is going to help you a lot. Um, talk, so, and association, another thing is association, right? Um, so when you have association of devotees, and when you have, we are keep hearing about good things and all, right? So it is going to continuously remind you in the office also, what is right, what is not right for you. Take an example of Prashadam also, right? Um, and Prabhuji today also has taken an example of me only, right? So there were, I am handling a team of uh, couple of members, and there are people in, uh, under me, right? And they were all asking for a new year party and all. Right, and I was not keen for going for a party in a uh, some restaurant and all. Right, because I don't eat onion, garlic, and other things and all. Right, then what I said, uh, why not? Uh, because they keep seeing me wearing uh, this country mala. They were saying, are you comfortable to come with us, uh, or uh, what should we do, or should we cancel the party? I said, no, we don't need to cancel the party. Let's go to a place where I can go. And then I brought all of them to the Govinda restaurant at Atapur. And they all have, uh, they have all enjoyed this uh, Govinda Prasad and they have all done uh, the darshan there. They are all feeling happy about it. So, yes, definitely Maya is going to be there. You have to be convinced yourself and you have to be following what you, uh, because you are already convinced. So, there are certain things, it's internal happiness, internal things which are already there inside. So, it is going to convince you that. You shouldn't be deviating here and there. You should be always following what you are convinced about it. That is how you will be able to continue uh, the journey, whatever you have. For thank, you, thank you. Yeah, just to add a bit here, basically, na, yes, Maya is there. And by the way, Bhagavad Gita is not theoretical. Right? Bhagavad Gita Badati, of course, Maya is very complicated thing to get past. But at the same time, it tells you how to get rid of it. If you do things as a duty, Right, and not for the sake of result. Right, you can actually be aloof from the whole thing, whole situation. Right, agar aap ye soch ke karoge na ki mujhe ye mein kar is liye raho ki jada paise milenge mere liye, to fir problem hone wali hai. Right, agar aap ye soch ke karoge na ki jada paise chahiye mujhe, kyo taaki main bhagwan ki seva kar sakun, then there is no problem. Right, and as he gave example, I don't know how many of you got it. Right, agar aap अपने इन्वॉर्मेंट को मोल्ड कर सकते हो अपने हिसाब से इनको जाना था पूरी टीम को पार्टी देने के लिए वो लेके गए सबको गोविंदा रेस्टोरेंट राइट और वहां पर जाके सबको पार्टी दी आराम से नहीं सो देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम यू कैन मोल्ड थिंग्स अकॉर्डिंगली आपको ऐसा लग रहा है क्योंकि आपको ऐसा लग रहा है कि बाहर के लोग हंसेंगे बट यू नो वॉट पीपल अप्रिशिएट पता है रियली अप्रिशिएट बिकॉज आई विल टेल यू वॉट लाइक यू नो इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट बींग अ मैनेजर दे एक्सपेक्ट दैट यू शुड बी इन्वॉल्व इन सम काइंड ऑफ Keeping peace with yourself. उनको पता है कि इतना ज़्यादा stressful environment है ना कि कुछ तो peaceful practice करना ज़रूरी है, right? And no matter what, whether I wear kanti mala, I do whatever, it doesn't mean कि हम office में अगर आप जो perform कर रहे हो ना, लोग वो देखते हैं आपका, and they they realize कि यार इस person के पास कुछ तो अच्छा है, पता है? There's some good thing that he's doing, so don't feel shy about it. First thing, right? और ये जो Maya Maya है ना, Maya तो definitely हर जगह पे है. लेकिन वो आपके ऊपर है कि आप अपने इन्वॉर्मेंट को कैसे मोल्ड करते हो आप अपने लिए कैसे एक प्रोटेक्शन लेयर क्रिएट करते हो अगर आप जैसे अभी सी आई ज्वाइन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट राइट व्हेन आई ज्वाइन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट देयर वर नॉट मेनी डिवोटीज आई आई न्यू इनफैक्ट ये पूरी रोड में जब मैं पहली बार भगवत गीता लेके निकला था तो कुछ लोग सरप्राइज हो गए थे कि अच्छा इंग्लिश में भगवत गीता अरे वाह ये तो ऐसी हमने पहली बार देखी है and I was so happy about that. It, which is like a, this is such a fertile place, <laughs> to preach. You know what? So now, right now, in in this entire road, I mean, all of these people, most of the people, and lot of people are still distributing books. So they didn't came, or I don't know if they came. But basically, uh, all the societies in this area, some of the other devotees leave. Couple of them leave in this area, 
right and there are a lot of devotees who are working in microsoft who are uh, who, who are part of this group right and with that at least i don't need to worry okay i don't need to worry ki wherever i go na i'll find association of devotees somewhere or the other right so you create association you can very well do that there's nothing to feel shy about maya sab jagah hai but bhakto ka sang jo hai na wo maya se bahut acche se protect karke rakhta hai right create a create a security wall around you right if you can it is a such a nice thing and by the way i have yeah. not introduced uh, pankaj go prabhu to this side of the audience let me introduce him and my apologies for not introducing him uh, pankaj go prabhu is like you know i have known him for like so many years he actually uh, is coming from my area which is near my hometown also so have, that is another level of connection i have with him and prabhu ji has been uh, running a voice center in in a place called nanded and uh, in that place and he is coming from i think iit where, where is that varangal NIT Raurkela. NIT Raurkela, right? So he's he's also from a very prominent college. He's coming from NIT Raurkela, and Prabhu ji has been uh, uh, running a voice center in Nanded, right? For years, I have visited that place, and I see uh, such a humble devotee, like you know, such a wonderful person. He takes a lot. You cannot imagine. I mean, this side of the people may know, right? This side of the people may not know. It takes a lot to serve. Uh, in such a environment where the college students come every year right and prabhu ji makes sure that they grow up to become a very wonderful gem in the society i mean like you know very wonderful people who whether go to us or whether they go to get married or do whatever but they will be like a really a asset for the entire society and it takes a lot to do that i mean like uh, and and by the way just just to add a bit more uh, prabhu ji because there's a new thane temple which is coming up i think 250 crore uh, rupees the thane temple is getting constructed prabhu ji is going to be uh, the the temple head or like uh, what will be the designation prabhu ji so prabhu ji is going to be the main person in the thane temple now very uh, much so so next time when we visit mumbai uh, we we know whom to contact there <laughs> it's a wonderful temple which is going to get inaugurated in feb uh, by by his holiness uh, radhanath swami maharaj right and prabhu ji is working uh, with gaurang prabhu to to finalize things and do lot of services there so we have a very prominent figure here sitting in the uh, oblivion of sorts like you know <laughs> not getting highlighted but really grateful to for to you prabhu ji for coming here and uh, uh, gracing this place uh, this place got purified by you being here so yeah go ahead now <laughs> really thank uh, our nirendra prabhu yesterday uh, prabhu the day of yesterday uh, yesterday morning only we had invited him to iskon to address the students every year whenever there is a situation we request prabhu ji to either come to nanded or we come here and hear from him but um, this was very special we have got a nice place and uh, nice amazing devotees i was very amazed to hear the uh, sweet realizations of all the devotees and so nice that uh, even the highest teacher of the society is also accepting krishna consciousness with such eagerness faith conviction and devotion um, very happy and grateful and uh, specially would like to congratulate uh, our nirendra prabhu because he is leading the whole uh, community here and uh, you know guiding them in a way that is you know the concepts of the, all the devotees are so so nicely set and based on bhagavad gita based on devotion and uh, i also would like to appreciate uh, our heartfelt gratitude to open the gates for us and accommodating us and also uh, encouraging us um, by putting um, like you know uh, all of us uh, all the students here now first year second year third year whatever final year now whatever they aspire for after 20 years you know here are the people and they may not get also as much <laughs> they may get they may not get this much but the, they are right here listening from you know uh, the directors and cas and entrepreneur who are who are actually uh, requesting and uh, encouraging everyone to practice krishna consciousness so we thank uh, from all the devotees here the devotees are from nandagaon boys nanded and mathura boys we call at mit aurangabad so from our uh, 
um, students' side, I would like to express our gratitude to not only Nirendra Prabhu, uh, specifically Nirendra Prabhu, and also all the devotees who kindly took out time. Prashadam was supposed to be at 7, it has become 8, and we seek for <laughs> forgiveness for that. And we thank each one of you for kindly accommodating us amongst your uh, Sangha. And uh, we would like to express our gratitude in a traditional way. Once allowed chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. It's so wonderful. We would like to, before you, uh, we would like to ourselves keep coming every now and then. Please, Prabhuji, please come in. Uh, we'll seek this <laughs> energy from here. Yeah, 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 please come. I mean, this is like a time of a new year, so we still have a slightly less count. We would uh, make you meet more people, new people, scientists and many type of new, new type of people. <laughs> please come next time. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you. Really grateful to all of you to be here and... Uh, you know, allowing us to serve. Because whenever I've been to, uh, to Nande, to Nandagama voice, I was like served amazing prashadam, so much of service. I was telling, when we started this session also, I was saying like, you know, the kind of service that the people do there, like, you know, it's something I should take you all someday so that you get to see and learn, like, you know, how to serve prashadam, how to do so many things. You're most welcome. Please come to Nandagama voice. It is not as opulent as uh, uh, Hyderabad, Hyderabad, but it is our humble village. Please do come and uh, give us asso uh, association and allow us to serve you. Hari Thank you. Hare Krishna. Yes, bro.